Professor Jackie Ying is an American nanotechnology scientist and the founding executive director of the Institute of Bioengineering and Nanotechnology in Singapore. Today we are going to look at her life and her amazing journey to Islam. Professor Jackie Ying was born in Taipei, the capital of Taiwan, in 1966. After only a few years, in 1973, her parents decided to migrate to Singapore, where her educational career began. She got enrolled in the Rulang Primary School and later at the Raffles Girls School. These schools were both Chinese dream, where she did not have any Malay friends. In case you're wondering who Malay people are, they are basically an ethnic group of Muslims in Singapore. So instead, the students she studied with were from a variety of cultural backgrounds with beliefs of their own. Being taught in such a system of education, it was only natural that she got inquisitive about religion. Besides that, she always wanted to realize the purpose and meaning of life, and religion seemed to be the go-to option for answers to such questions. So starting from the phase of her primary education, she began acquiring information on different religions. Later, when she turned 15, her family moved to New York. In New York, she got admitted to Cooper Union, from where she obtained her bachelor's degree in chemical engineering in 1987, graduating summa cum laude. After that, she attended Princeton University, from where she acquired her master's degree in 1988 and her PhD degree in 1991, both in chemical engineering. After completion of her postdoctorate, she decided to spend a year as a Humboldt Fellow at the Institute for New Materials in Sarsbrücken for the research of nanocrystalline materials. During all this time, Professor Jackie had not abandoned her quest for the truth of everything around her, and it was only a matter of time before she saw the truth in Islam. So moving on, in 1992, Professor Jackie became a professor in the Department of Chemical Engineering at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. It was during her tenure as a professor at MIT when in 2001 she accepted Islam, the very same year in which she was promoted to the rank of a full professor. Being 35 at the time, she was one of MIT's youngest full professors. When asked about how she converted to Islam, Professor Jackie said it was not at all difficult for her to accept Islam. She went on to elaborate that unlike other religions with complicated concepts, Islam is a simple religion. Professor Jackie also shared her views on the Muslim's holy book, the Holy Quran. She said that when she opened the Quran for the first time, it didn't take her long to realize that it was a special and unusual book. The modern scientific concepts that humans have begun to grasp only today, she said, are already laid down in the Quran. So anyhow, after spending two years as a full professor at MIT, in 2003, Jackie returned to Singapore to serve as the first executive director of the Institute of Bioengineering and Nanotechnology a division of the Agency of Science, Technology and Research. There, her research revolved around the biomedical and catalytic uses of nanostructured systems and materials. In March 2018, Jackie gave up her position as the Executive Director at the Institute of Bioengineering and Nanotechnology in order to oversee her own lab, NanoBioLab. During her illustrious career at IBN, Professor Jackie was the recipient of ample honors and awards. In 2008, she was named in the list of the 100 Engineers of the Modern Era by the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. In 2014, she was inducted into the Singapore Women's Hall of Fame. She was also featured in 500 of the world's most influential Muslims on several occasions. Furthermore, in December 2015, Professor Jackie was one of the receivers of the Maiden Mustafa Prize awarded by Mustafa Science and Technology Foundation. Later, in 2017, she was named a Fellow of the United States National Academy of Inventors, becoming the first Singapore-based scientist to have earned that accolade. As of now, Professor Jackie has over 180 patents and patent applications. 32 of these patents have been licensed to multinational and startup companies for a variety of applications in nanomedicine, drug delivery, cell and tissue engineering, etc. Her inventions have also resulted in the foundation of 11 spin-offs. One of these spin-offs, Smart Inc., is concerned with auto-regulating the release of insulin, depending on blood glucose levels for treating diabetes. 
This company was bought by the pharmaceutical giant Merck in 2010. In the past year or so, with the novel coronavirus wrecking havoc around the world, Professor Jackie has been using her expertise in nanotechnology to come up with innovations that could help the world fight this virus. Her efforts have certainly bore fruit as recently she, along with her team, developed the quickest testing tool for coronavirus. Professor Jackie Ying currently resides in Singapore with her 20-year-old daughter, who is also believed to be eager about science. Jackie is the true embodiment of how Muslims play their part in modern-day technological research and development. When asked about the relationship between Islam and science, she said that Islam encourages us to seek knowledge, and by seeking scientific knowledge, we can prove to be very useful to the society. She further pointed out that scientific knowledge hints again and again to the existence of God. So she doesn't think that religion and science conflict with each other in any way. She summed up her response in the most beautiful way. If you truly study science, you have to believe in the Creator. So being a dedicated scientist, Professor Jackie was able to understand that there is one, all-powerful and supreme being behind all all the awe-inspiring scientific inventions she studies and works on, and that is Allah Almighty. May Allah accept Professor Jackie and make her steadfast in this deen.